Sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the Welcome, Phoenix. welcome, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It is, it is Monday, July 26th right? Um, hopefully everybody had a fantastic weekend. My name is Andrew David. This is Blake Newbar's uh, partner program, The High Performance Call. Now, um, I know some of you guys are here for the first time. I saw a couple of Kevins on here and I saw uh, Purdy and, and a couple of others. So appreciate you guys. Um, some of you guys have been around for months and months and love having you guys on. Now, last week I had a pretty cool guest on, gave you guys some challenges. Um, We've got the, the challenge group. We only have a few days left to complete things there. And if you're brand new and you're wondering what that is, I've got a, we've got a Skype group that you guys are welcome to be a part of. We have kind of 30 day rolling challenges. We've done affirmations. This month was just kind of going out and checking stuff off a bucket list, whether they're large or small, just finding ways to experience life a little bit more. And so what I wanted to do today, we've got what, five days essentially left in the month, guys. So I wanna hear from you guys. I want Q and A. Over um, last week, Thursday, I was talking about engagement posts on Facebook. Steve gave some challenges to you guys. You know, what did you guys think about the call on, on Friday? Whether you watch it live or replay, what'd you guys think? A few thumbs up. Yeah. Anybody want to chime in? Whether you want to. Steve was awesome. Steve was awesome. It was right. an everyday common sense. Just do it. It was right. beautiful. Thank you. And I, I, I remember he's a, as transparent as it comes. I'm not going to say authentic around the man anymore. Uh, I used that a couple of times and was admonished for it. So, you know, I, I'm, I've got to start training myself now. So when I show up in front of him in Austin in November, I'm not saying authentic anymore, but yeah, just a transparent, just a real dude, you know, here he is. And that's absolutely how he is. Um, and I saw him post today. He's off on his own, coaching mastermind uh little thing this weekend or you know today and tomorrow as well just like he said so and i love that that's a dude who is you know has generated plenty of personal revenue for himself has a company works with billionaires and millionaires and is off getting coached you know guy that drinks his kool-aid so i love seeing that now he gave a couple of ideas on you know building relationships getting mentors doing different things did anything, and and that's a topic that I've talked a lot about, building relationships and then finding ways to strengthen the, that core group that's around you, like we talked about, right? Which is really only three to five people. Odds are you're not going to have more than three to five people that are really in that tight nucleus of individuals around you. And then you have people at work, which kind of make up that, um, you know, that circle that you're forced to deal with. But what did you guys take away from that? Either some ideas to build relationships or how to get away from people that are, are toxic or other things. Like, what did you guys think there? Well, Andrew, I thought it was great that he brought up the fact that you don't want people around that you don't like, that just you know aren't going to work for you. And also right. found it interesting too that he did like the word uh, authentic. He yeah. said transparent. That's yeah. He looked at it. yeah. And uh, I, I want to say that, I mean, you are the, like, you are in charge of your outcomes or, or your yeah. destiny, so to speak, because you yeah. choose who you, who you are around with. So basically, it is very powerful and empowering to know that, I mean, not even, not even your family defines what you can do. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, but so. I got a comment was um, that, you know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Go up, go right up to someone and talk to them. All they can do is turn you away. You know, yep. don't be afraid of it. Yeah. Michael <laughs> saying uh, relationships only function well when they're founded on genuine caring for each other. Yeah. So that law of reciprocity going out and doing a little bit more. And then yes. go ahead, Shirley. And if you continue being your positive, true self, uh, your vibes are going to attract those that are also positive and true. And those who are not, your vibe is not going to attract them and they're going to move away anyway. Yeah. And that's OK. You know, it's it's all right. So, yeah, Dave, I, I David, like the, uh, Andrew. 
Go ahead, Jens. Yeah, uh, I liked his idea that uh, he gave us, which says, um, uh, when you are in a great room, great things happen. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the, the, the core group of people that you surround yourself with, uh, are right. those people who empower you and strengthen you and give you the the the, the confidence to, to to do things that you 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 want to accomplish? I really liked right. that idea. Yeah, absolutely. And I liked Thank when um, he asked the question um, um, to one of the um, a group members, and then he asked one of the female group members. And what he was trying to get to is that we're to bring something to the table um, to those that we're communicating with and not be selfish about right. Um, right. trying to get the information for ourselves. Yeah, not to name any names on, <laughs> on who that happened with at all. Uh, <laughs> but look, it makes sense, right? And, and he absolutely put you on the spot, David. Um, not to name names, sorry. Uh, but he put you on the spot and, and it was kind of a, you know, what am I going to say right now? Um, but that's that's the reality, right? A lot of times, and, and we're so used to like, oh my gosh, how, I'm, I'm in this position. How do I take advantage of it? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Right? And there's this immediate, oh my gosh. Now, um, did anyone notice he called Elton John the piano man? Yeah, I, I don't think he was referring to, you know, Billy Joel, but Elton is kind of a, a piano man there. So, um, but I, so I bring that up and I don't know if the people are on this call or not, but I think sometimes guys, we miss some of the most basic things that are taught. I think that premise of how do you stand out? Well, go do something that's different and do something to tell them, Hey, I'm thinking about you and maybe find a way to help them is one of the most important things that you can do when you're building a relationship. And immediately after, within hours after that call, I got more, I got two or three different messages or emails um, saying, oh, I love the call. Would you invest in this? Do this for me. Connect me with this person, right? Like request made right away, right? They missed that step that he was talking about. Hey, I got something for you or, or anything in that regards. Just, I want this from you. This is going to benefit me a lot. And I just kind of shook my head and, and, and I went, you know, I almost want to send him the recording back and say, Hey, watch that again for me. Tell me what you missed. You know, too often we do that. So I, uh, one thing I did, this was a challenge. So I went, did anyone else order some Christmas cards? I did. <laughs> did By the way. I, right away I did. I've got, so I've got some cool ones coming and he's going to get a Christmas card. Right. Yeah. And then we, we set up something else. Um, I took note cause he posted on Facebook, but a couple of days before that was his dog's birthday. So next year, I'm not going to oh, do it. Wow. Right I'm going to wait, but next year his dog's going to get something on the mm -hmm. birthday. Right. Because odds are people might remember his birthday, but who's going to remember the dog's birthday. Right. And mm -hmm. you got something. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize so I was unmuted. Um, yes. After uh, reading his book, um, I'm scared to death to approach people. And I heard someone speak at a conference and I wanted to send her um, one of my products. And I reached out to her by email and just said, listen, I would like to gift this to you. Um, here's my a web address, um, where could I send it? And the reply I got was, thank you so very much. So here I was scared to death and she replied, thank you. Now, I don't know if it's gonna amount to anything, but I was thrilled that she even got back to me and said, yes, I would love a gift. Yeah, and because too often what they get after an event like that I heard you speak. Oh my gosh. Could you introduce me to so-and-so? Can I get your book? I was there and I wasn't able to take part in whatever offer you had. Can you give me a different discount? Like that's the immediate request that people get as opposed to, man, I appreciate what you gave me. Here's something, anything. A Christmas card costs a couple of bucks guys, but it allows you to stand out 
And that's kind of the point he was making with all of this, right? Put together, you know, use butcher paper, send them something. He was sending, you know, ripping something out of a Sky Mall magazine and sending that. It's not necessarily about the value of the gift. It's the simple fact that I'm, you know, I'm trying to build a relationship with you. Everybody in the world is trying to build a relationship with, you know, if you've got someone that's you want to put on your, in your genius network, in your circle, if you've got someone like that, and there's a chance that they're already a mentor or a coach or a business person anywhere, they're busy and everybody is vying for their time. Everybody wants it. Everybody thinks that they, that person's cool, man, what can I do? Right. And it's, you know, can I take you to coffee and pick your brain? I, I've seen some guys that because they get asked that so many times, they go, yeah, absolutely. So here's the, you know, here's my Venmo, my PayPal, whatever coffee is $500. And I go, well, well no, I was, uh, no, because there's no, there is no reciprocity. There's nothing you've done to stand out. Meanwhile, if you do something to stand out, those are the same type of people that will turn around and give you their time for free because you've done something to be different, right? So, you know, look at where you're at with the relationships that you've got. If you've got people around you, you know, he talks about his chug test. If you wouldn't sit down and have a drink with them or sit down and share a meal with them, maybe you don't drink alcohol. So it's sitting down and having a meal. If you wouldn't do it, then why are you spending time with them anyway, right? If you go out of your way to avoid those people, what are you doing, right? So let me see. Um, in the Kabbalah, it said that the creator bestows only the good to you, to us, the receivers. Eventually, we learn to receive goodness for others um, solely for their good. Yeah, a big part of that, Michael, is understanding your worth and understanding that, like, being able to take a compliment, but then being able to find ways to give other people value instead of you know and then we get into dependence and codependence and ego and everything else and so different conversation different point but agree with what you're you're saying um so a, t- a yeah. twist on that what i i i was glad to hear him talk about the uh, christmas cards because for years i have at thanksgiving you find some really great thanksgiving cards and i just buy them up by the bulk I, and then I send those Thanksgiving cards to people just throughout the year, and yep. just add a little message to it. And they know it's a Thanksgiving card. I mean, you know, it has the all the fall colors and everything. But I use Thanksgiving cards, yep. so I was glad to hear him say the Christmas cards. Do something to stand out is the point there, right? Do something that's going to be of value to other people. So what else? So I've got like, um, you know, I had my guy edit out a piece of of uh, a clip where he talked about when it comes to getting started. When he said, the first time that you try something, understand that it's going to be, you guys remember that? That's just how it is. You're going to get started and you can do one of two things. You can be the person that plans and plans and plans. And in six months, you're still planning and trying to make things perfect. Or you can be the person that launches, understand it's going to be crap when you start. You launch anyway, you fix it, you, you do it again, it gets better. You do it again, it gets better. And you just keep improving. Over and over and over again, you just get better or you're st- sitting around going, well, you know, I haven't quite got my my plan right. It's like what I gave you guys a week and a half, two weeks ago about the mission and vision statement. Get it, put it down, have something to go with and then run. Right. And be OK with it. You know, it's like the name and, and logo that he had for his company when he switched it to a different name for a little while. And you can see this in the book or other podcasts that he's done, but for a while he had the Bluefish and then they changed the name when they started doing product launches and all this other stuff. And they made it, not the try, they made it something else that kind of represented the, the top three, the, not the pantheon of Greek mythology, but the top three gods, the try, not the triumvirate, but if someone was, but anyway, that's what it was. Right. And, and, People would call and say, hey, are you bluefish? They go, no, we're this. And so they would go, okay, and hang up. And then they recognized they were bluefish. They were, you know, but they had rebranded. Like, so he adjusted, moved on, and, and kept things going again. Because the point is, is just go. Just make it happen, right? Don't wait for things to be perfect. Um, ready, fire, aim. Absolutely. Do it ugly. Raw, real, and unpolished. Yep. Launch imperfectly. So, yep. Thanksgiving, Christmas cards. Good. Be unique. 
Now, a couple of you may want, uh, said you may want to send something um, to him. I'll see. I, I think they've got a PO box. So um, that'd probably be the best way, but I can get that if, if you're interested in doing that. A couple of you have expressed interest in getting him a card. And I think that'd be cool if we flood it. You know, just go get a dollar card. I think that would be cool as hell if we just flood him with a bunch of uh, Christmas cards this week. You know, Andrew, that, please do share his address with us, the PO box. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an address. It is a P.O. box, even though it's a regular address in, I want to say, Beverly Hills. So, um, yeah, it would be great if we just got him 20, 30, 40 Christmas cards. So, I love this comparison to the blue unicorn with three. Exactly. Uh, just be different, right? And it's okay to be different. Um, so, anybody else, anything there stuck out or any questions about engagement posts about Facebook, about Instagram. I'm going to bring on an Instagram expert just trying to see if we're, it's going to be, it's probably going to be the beginning of next week. Um, and we'll, we'll dive into that. Okay. Here's the challenge then for the week guys. And some of you guys are brand new and I understand. So you may not know what the hell I'm talking about. So we launched a, the, the challenge group, it, we got five days left and some of you guys have taken this bull by the horns and, and done some rock star stuff. So I don't know if Curtis is on here. Mike, Carolyn, Sama has been crushing. A, a bunch of you have, doing, have done, Sue, I know. Others have, have done phenomenal stuff. So kudos to you. Well done. Do more. Up your game this last five days. And so for some of you that are brand new and you're going, what's he talking about? Look, it's time to experience life. And, and I really, I kicked this off because I was able to get Steve. So, and for those of you guys that are brand new, do we have, anybody have the blue fishing book real handy with them? I put mine on my shelf. Anybody got one right there? Hold it up. Author of blue fishing, Sue Blankenship there at the bottom has got it. Author of blue fishing, that's who was on the call. If you missed it, it's on the YouTube channel. But for this month, the goal was to go out and do something that you may not have done. Do something, whether it's a big item on the bucket list or something small, just experience life through a slightly different paradigm. Look at something different, be different and live differently so that you can see, hey, I'm capable of being and doing differently. That's what the challenge is for this month. How many of you guys show of hands have already accomplished something this month that you didn't think you'd do? Right. A bunch of you. Good job. Well done, guys. If you haven't and get and look, maybe Gatain and Purdy and Kevin, maybe joining the partner program is exactly that. So good. Good for you. Now you got five days. So that now here's where we look at it. Maybe it's going to be a live video on Facebook that you've never done and you're scared to death, death to do or on your Instagram. Maybe it's posting something and putting your face out there. Maybe it's going somewhere else. This Friday, I'm going skydiving. And so the, the live high performance call is going to be from there. I got a couple of people raising their eyebrows and my life insurance agent isn't on the call anyway. So we're okay, right? I don't think she pays attention to my channel. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. I've got to lose like three and a half more pounds though, to make sure that I, I make weight. So that'll be interesting. Um, especially cause I had feed fajitas this weekend. So yeah, nice knowing me. Thank you. Appreciate that. So maybe on, on Thursday, we're going to do a lesson on writing your eulogy and how you want to be remembered. I'll make sure everybody does that. Um, so <laughs> Yeah, not raising one's voice when irritated is probably new and useful. For many of us, it is. Absolutely. So like, it doesn't have to be as big as what I'm doing this weekend, right? It could simply be reading a book again for the first time, going on a hike by yourself without your phone for a little bit, being on your own, right? Whatever it is, guys, spend this week trying to do something a little bit different, right? Does it? Anybody, how many of you guys have something planned or something where you said, you know, it's time for me to just go ahead and do it. Anybody got something large or small? Anybody? Small, but uh, I'm for the first time going to have Peruvian food with my wife. There you go. Look, guys, sometimes it's just making it small. So Hartley and then a couple others, there's still a book coming out. I'll check and I'll let you know. I'll make sure I've got the address right because a couple of them I didn't because uh, I ended up with a couple of extra books here. Amazon messed something up. So good. Anybody else have something this week that they're doing? Plan for nothing? Okay. So now's the time to do it. Stop watching documentaries after dinner or spend time on projects. There you go. Yeah. Be productive, guys. Go out and be phenomenal. Be fantastic. Be the amazing rock stars that you are. Um, I love working with you. I love seeing you here. 
Tomorrow, we're going to dive a little deeper in. Um, I'm going to look at, there's a couple of things in marketing wise that I want to get into this week as well. So if you have any thoughts or questions about any of those topics, please email me so we can dive into it. Okay. All right. On that note, Nancy and Jeff, yes. All right. Love you guys. Go out. Have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat. Sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are.